absolute best. I found a playlist on my Spotify from 2016 and I have been thoroughly enjoying it. It's been so much fun to kind of like listen to my top songs from 2016. But anyways, hey guys, welcome back to a new vlog. So today is Thursday, busy day. We have a productive day, productive vlog is definitely what it's going to be. It's 12 o'clock right now and I am taking a little break from work and all of my meetings to quickly run to Lululemon. I have some alterations to pick up. They've been ready for like a week and I haven't found the time to pick them up and so I want them. I want it so I can start to wear it all. I'll definitely share it all um, when I get home and then I think after this I'm gonna quickly run and grab some lunch as well. When I told Juan I was leaving, he was like, so are you coming back with food? <laughs> so I'm asking him what he wants. Most likely it is going to be Chipotle. The next few days here in the Seattle area is gonna be so sunny and so pretty and I'm really looking forward to it. Like right now the sun is fully out. It's only 68 degrees, but like that's kind of perfect. But we've had windy, shitty weather, raining, all of it. So it's nice to get a break from it and have some nice sunny days. Woohoo! Made it back home. We wanted the bag gray. Okay, let me show you the goodies and then I'm starving. So then we'll go downstairs and have lunch. Do you like the smell of everything, babe? Excuse me. I got the modal pants hemmed up. So here we go. It's hemmed. I guess I gotta try them on. Make sure it's still good. I got it like still long enough where I don't kind of drags a little bit. I just don't want it to be too short, especially because I haven't even washed these yet. And I know I don't put them in the dryer or anything, but you just never know. So I feel like it's always easier to take it up than to just like add length after it's removed, obviously. So I kept it still pretty long. But it also another update is because that these are gonna be so comfy and it's gonna be like the perfect like summer pants honestly i just went back and got it in black too so i'm really excited about that and then i got these nulu ultra soft tanks they are the perfect tank i got them in a size extra small but they just were a little long and i wanted them to hit a little bit shorter like at least like my ratio for like my torso like where um no we don't lick shoes because licking shoes leads to biting shoes and we don't want that. What was I saying? Just like where it hits me on my waist. It still is, I know it probably doesn't look like it, but it is still long, um, at least on me. So I got it in the Mojave tan, and then I also got the navy one too. I'm gonna have to trust that these are good. I'm not gonna try them on right now, so I wanna take off my hoodie, but I'll at least like try on the pants. I'm trying to figure out where to go so that I can show you the length of these pants because my office is a disaster, but I guess it is what it is. Both the animals are in here. Here it is really quickly. So you can see it's still like long, it hits the ground, but I'm not like stepping on it. It's not dragging or anything. God, these are amazing. So I ended up actually going with a size four in these because the waist is still like pretty tight, you know, even in the four, but man, these are so comfy. what it is but I feel like I have really high anxiety today so I'm gonna need to like reflect on that for a moment maybe while I'm eating and just like see how I can turn it around to still like be productive and do what I need to do today but like take it from an 11 down to like a 7 like I'm kind of like ah, all over the place so I'm gonna do that so we got the good old chipotle it's my standard my burrito bowl that I always get for years and years now Yummy. Looks so good. Oh my god. Some chippity chips. Mm -hmm. I want, I'll, uh, I'll drink water wherever my water bottle is. Okay. Moment of some calm and reflection for like 15, 20 minutes. And then I have to get back into it because I do have some more meetings coming up that we'll need to get to and tackle.
it's a bad idea to sit here and film because Juan's playing video games. So just know he's back there and without a doubt, he may be a little bit loud, but we'll work around it. <laughs> but I've had so many requests to do like a follow-up review on this bag right here. This is the YSL Sync Aset shoulder bag. I totally butchered oh. that. But I first showed this handbag when I got it, which was a little over a year now. I'll include the vlog down below that I initially shared it in. My God, I never thought that that video would get over 30,000 views. And it's all because of this handbag right here. So naturally you guys want a little follow up on it to see like my thoughts on it now, especially now that it's been a year. And since I got this bag, they have also released it in more sizes, more colors, more fabrics as well. So this is kind of like the OG, which is which is kind of funny. So now they have it in multiple sizes. They have, well, the mini, I'm not gonna include that because this is like the hobo style that yeah, I wanna yeah. focus on. So they have the small, which this is the small, they have a large, and they also have kind of what I wanna classify it as, it's like an extra large, it's just wider. And then they have also released it in additional fabrics as well. So they have it in grained leather, which this one is grained. They have smooth leather, they have canvas, suede, python, raffia. So definitely a lot of different options oh, yeah, and combinations that you can now get this bag in. So yes, this one is in the small size. It is in the grain leather and it's a very like fine grain leather. It's not like too pebbly looking. It's also calfskin leather. It is black and then the inside is suede and it's black so it's tonal. And then the last detail is the gold hardware or I should say brass. I would say for a good six months out of the last year, this was my go-to bag. This is my daily bag, the bag that I used every single day. And as you can see like the structure and look of it it looks brand new it looks exactly how it was when i first picked it up so this strap does sag down it kind of just like lays there that hasn't changed at all with more use i also have never adjusted it from when i purchased it so it was set on this length and i just kept it i thought it was a really good length but it does have two different length options i do baby my bags a little bit but like to an extent for sure i'm not one to really throw around my handbag or even really place it on the floor. So there is like that level of respect and treatment that I do give my bags. But even with that, I would say that this bag is very durable. You can see just from how the leather looks on the outside, if I was to pivot it around, it shows no real signs of any sort of wear. It does not scuff easily or get marks of any sort. And I think that that's because of the leather choice that I got it in, getting it in the grained leather. It just makes it a little bit more resistant to showing scratches and marks. Marks. And then also with getting it in black, can't really see any sort of discoloration. Like if this was worn against like blue denim or jackets of any sort. I wonder if that would change if you got it in the lighter colors. Let me quickly remove everything from the inside. And then the inside is no different either. As a reminder, the inside of this bag, which I really like about it, is that it does have a tiny divider and like separator in here. Hopefully you can see it, it has that part right there that has a zipper and that is the divider. So there's like a smaller part in the back that I usually throw my phone in and then this larger compartment that fits a good size like cosmetic pouch. This bag fits so much, not too much where it seems like an endless pit. Like I can find things very easily in it, but man, when I just need to carry a lot, like for instance, like my cameras and things like that, this is typically the bag that I opt for because it really just holds it all. And it also doesn't get too heavy either because this by itself is fairly lightweight. And with it being, I guess technically, unlined it just has like a suede interior i think that helps keep the weight down so all in all if this is a bag that has been on your wish list one that you've been eyeing i highly recommend it i think it will withstand the test of time not only in the quality and will hold up well over time but it also just is a very timeless oh classic piece that's always going to be in style in my opinion this small size is the perfect size love the shoulder strap and the hobo style of it very versatile and very gorgeous. So I really hope that this helps answer any lingering questions that you may have had on this bag in terms of wear over time and my thoughts on it now, even a year later. A year later, love it. It is still one of my go-tos. Like I mentioned, I did originally review this in a different vlog, more of like my first impressions of it. I think that when I reviewed it, I already had it for a month, but it still gives like a lot more details into this than I may have given right now. So definitely go check that out. I'll link it down below for you guys.
officially hot after doing all of that. Okay, I am so looking forward to right now, my favorite part of the day. I got my little matcha and I'm gonna go to my reading nook that is right behind you and start to read a little bit, start to like decompress a little bit. I feel like it's a bit of a stressful day. So I just like really need to calm down. chocolates. I should hide this from one. <sighs> Juan is taking Gray for a walk. I was at a really good point in the book. Ooh, I'm still reading though. Not done for the day. But um, the NBA Finals, game one is on. I wanna kind of like multitask, I guess. Watching bits of that and reading because I want to do both equally. <laughs> Reading them is exactly what I needed to really just decompress for the day. It's a for sure way for me to just like forget about work and forget about like any sort of stresses. Just let me read for like 30 minutes, maybe an hour, and I will feel amazing. So now I'm chill. Now I'm ready for the night. Now I have no concerns. It's gonna be just a relaxing night at home. When Juan gets back, we'll have to figure out what we want to do for dinner. And then probably watch this, obviously, until it finishes and then maybe pick up a show. Afterwards, we've been watching the morning show. We're on season two right now, been loving it. And then we always do a couple in parallel. And so we have the morning show going on. We also have Hacks. It's on HBO, HBO Max, Max. I don't know what they call it now. It is a comedy and they just came out with the newest season. What is it, season three? It is such a good show. It's one of the best shows. I really recommend that one. And then we are also watching Welcome to Wrexham, which is like a soccer docu-series sort of a show. Also really, really good. I think that's all we're watching together. Well, there's a few things that I'm watching on my own. First and foremost, I am still in and obsessing about Vampire Diaries. I think I'm on like season four now. You guys, I know. I'm a speed watcher. What else am I got going on? And then all of the Bravo shows um, I'm keeping up with as well. We have Top Chef. We have Summer House. Oh, I think tonight is a Summer House reunion. Probably watch it tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to that. The Real Housewives of New Jersey. Dubai just started. I never finished season one, but I want to get back into it. What else am I forgetting? Well, Vanderpump Rules concluded, and I think the reunions are done. If not, there may be a part three. Did I watch that? I don't remember. We got the Below Decks. Man, just anything Bravo. Bravo, you guys, I love, I'm all for. Moving from one spot to the next to read, you know? Sun is no longer over there. So yeah, we're gonna sit here. We're gonna multitask with watching, but I just have, I have goals. I have reading goals, daily reading goals, things that I want to hit. I am behind schedule, but that's fine. But for sure, I tried to like at least read bits of both books because I'm doing the tandem read every single day. But right now I'm at a point where I'm reading like five chapters in a row in Tower of Dawn. So that's, like 50 pages or so. I can't believe I used to have a goal in January where I read a hundred pages a day. Man, how did I do that? 
So I don't know, at least 50 pages a day right now. Weekends, a little bit more. I don't know, do you guys have like a reading strategy? Cause I feel like I have to have some sort of flexible goals, obviously. Not trying to put too much pressure on myself, but something to help move this along. I'm just so antsy to get into this some more, see what's happening. I'm like very into the storyline, but then also I have to remember like after these two books, there's only one book left and that terrifies me a little bit that I'm almost done with this entire series. But even with saying that, I still think it's like a month out because these are some thick ass books. But there's just so many things I wanna read. Oh man, I wish I was like a, a speed reader or I read really quickly. I feel like I'm a slow reader. I say that and Quan's always like, why do you say that? Because I feel like you read a lot of books in a month, like you go through them quickly. But I was like, I don't know, it doesn't feel like that. Like I feel like I'm a slow reader. <laughs> whatever, whatever, as long as I'm enjoying the journey. I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. Who's back from their walk? Oh. My baby. What you doing? Coffee time? No. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi, my baby. Oh, that's so comfy. Want your belly? Your belly? Your belly? Your belly? What's he doing? Is he getting some tea? Nice tea. Boop, shake. We ordered from like DoorDash and our dinner was just delivered. Eee. Thank you. Oh, I'm so excited. We ordered from Dozone. It's been years, I can't believe it, since we've had anything from here. Felt like my first impression of it years ago was that I thought it was really good, but I like preferred Din Tai Fung more, so then we would just always eat at Din Tai Fung, right? <laughs> but like, this is pretty good. Okay, what did we order? We ordered some pork zhao long baos, some dan dan noodles, some sweet and sour cucumber, and some pork wontons with chili sauce. Ooh, babe, I'm excited. I wash my hands. Did you take some ibuprofen? Juan has a headache. Little baby has a headache. Hello. <laughs> okay, here's the overview. The Zha Long Bao's, the cucumber. What is that? What did I say? Sweet and sour. And then we had the wontons. The wontons look kind of sad, no, babe? Hopefully they're good. And then we have the Dan Dan noodles as well. So, yes, bon appetit. Got my Diet Coke as well. So we're gonna watch Welcome to Wrexham and have our dinner. Can you open this for me? Can you help me open it? Thank you. How's everything? It's good. Oh wow, you're like almost done with everything. Holy shit. We haven't even started. <laughs> Babe, we should do that challenge. You know like that secret one where like the girlfriend or wife tries to match the pace of the boyfriend or vice versa? Because <laughs> I feel like I would die. <laughs> oh, I would die. I'm not surprised to see the yellow card there. A red card is given for more serious infractions like dangerous play or foul and abuse language. Maybe those wontons are really good. I like them more than the Jalan Bows. Holy shit. Those are really good. This is really good. No, no, I haven't yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.